Well, welcome Muggles and Mudbloods. We are jumping in today uh, to a, a kind of controversial topic. We are talking about Harry Potter. Not just talking, but we are going to be playing the new uh, Harry Potter Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, I pre-ordered this a crazy long time ago and it just came out on the switch i probably could have gotten it on the ps4 uh but you know what uh i didn't think of that honestly um but we got some cool um features to uh to go with it we got this uh exclusive bonus we got um uh the house fanatic school robe and the beaked skull mask which you can see uh, there on the bottom. We also got the Onyx Hippogriff mount. I think these are all pre-order bonus deluxe edition sort of things. And then we got the Dark Arts cosmetic set and the Thestral mount. I don't care about showing the don't care about showing the codes because I already claimed them. Um, but uh, I went ahead and imported those all last night, and then it also came with a bunch of other content, uh, which I was surprised to see. But uh, you know, as a pastor, I really believe uh, that it's important to define where the line is between uh, fun and actual, literal, spiritual uh, things. And so uh, there are many places in the Bible, I'm reading through the book of Exodus right now, where uh, Moses and Aaron are doing signs from God, and then Pharaoh's uh, court wizards are replicating those things. Uh, and there's uh, a place where uh, King Saul goes and, and sees uh, someone who is a diviner and is able to summon the spirits of the, the dead Samuel, uh, who was a prophet. And so uh, there are some things that I definitely don't mess with. <laughs> um, I just hit my microphone. Um, I don't mess with like Ouija boards and tarot cards and things like that because um, there are spiritual uh, powers out there. Uh, at least that's what I believe. Uh, and that's what I believe that the Bible teaches us is that there are, um, spiritual temptations and, and spiritual, uh, beings who are looking to, uh, tempt us and, and lead us astray. And, uh, and inviting those things into our life can be negative. Uh, and and is negative. Um, however, I think uh, defining the line between reality and fiction is important uh, because we don't want to, as Christians, be uh, uptight a-holes with sticks up our butt. And so that's why I'm decked out in my house colors. Uh, I'm repping Ravenclaw. I've got my, my tie. I've got my, my Ravenclaw sweater. Uh, most of this is from Hot Topic. Some of it's from Halloween stores. I got my, my Deathly Hollows necklace. Uh, I'm excited to jump into this game. Uh, I became a Harry Potter fan uh, as an adult when one of my students in the youth group was like, hey, uh, have you seen the Harry Potter movies? Here's all eight. And I was like, oh, okay, all right, so let me binge watch Harry Potter. And I watched them all in like a week. And uh, I have never looked back. So, um, this is uh, my perspective as a pastor. If you are um, a, a parent whose child is, is looking into this game uh, or wants to read the books or watch the movies, um, this is going to be my perspective on the Harry Potter universe uh, as a pastor. And so, uh, and I also uh, want to, to normalize uh, engaging in culture. Uh, as well. And so, uh, of course, uh, if things are, are going to take a turn for the worst, then, then this won't go very far. But I don't anticipate that because I've seen the movies. I have the books. I have not read the books. That's that's on me, guys. I <laughs> that's, that's totally on me. But uh, I have um, my wand here at the ready um, to uh, cast some spells uh, fictionally. Of course, no real spell casting here, um, but I also have my uh, unofficial Harry Potter spell book uh, that I picked up from Five Below. It's got some cool stuff. It's got all the different charms and stuff in it, and so uh, I'm really excited to to dive deep into uh, the actual lore of Harry Potter, and it shows you like how to, to cast the spells and things like that. Um, and then, of course. 
what kind of Harry Potter fan would I be if I did not have my Marauders map because I solemnly swear that I am up to no good. <laughs> um, now, uh, believe me, I, I, uh, <laughs> I've, I've watched through these movies uh, a few times. Of course, I said I haven't read the books, but I'm not just I'm not trying to be trendy. Um, I, I actually genuinely enjoy these things. Uh, I genuinely enjoy Harry Potter. Um, wasn't a huge fan of the, um, uh, what are the, the movies that came after the, uh, I can't remember what fantastic beasts movies. I thought they were kind of slow in my opinion, but, um, anyway, um, sorry, got a text and I got distracted. Um, this is going to be, uh, my, uh, my perspective on Harry Potter as a pastor. Uh, so please uh, watch and define for yourself where the line is between fantasy and reality. Is this something that will negatively impact your faith, or is this an opportunity for us to engage in culture and community with the people around us? So uh, without further ado, here we go into... Uh, Harry Potter uh, Hogwarts Legacy. Mm-hmm. 